Hey there friends, how's it going? My name is Kevin and today we're playing The Sims 4 and we'll be continuing on with our knitting um, business where we have legal employees who are paid money. <laughs> I think I got away with it. But today, we're going to be adding in a special guest star here. Using a mod created by Raise the Lord on YouTube. Appreciate the mod, by the way. We're going to use the neutral mod, which is a trait which ensures you have no strong feelings one way or another. <laughs> now look up a reference picture. It's going to be quite easy because default is trending on Reddit. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> Hello, my name is Default Default. And I think we're done. I'm quite happy with how she turned out. Looks like one of the most normal people I have ever made, ever. <laughs> Why does the loading screen keep just saying okay to me? It's just giving up trying to help. It's like, all right, you're clearly not listening. Look, lock people in your knitting basement if you want. There we go. We moved default into a very defaulty apartment. <laughs> it's just the bare necessities because she's not into extravagance or, well, anything really. <laughs> all right, let's go check in on Jim. <laughs> his little hat, he's so cute. Honestly, I don't know if a man of his age wearing a hat like that is cute or just sad. See, I think Jim is getting pissed off with people like this working for him. And she's doing all this unnecessary stuff like going to the bathroom and it's just wasting time. So when Jim hears of a new person in the neighborhood who has no strong feelings one way or the other about being kidnapped and put in a basement, of course he's interested. I earned $93 today. That is fantastic. <laughs> all right, Jim, um, let's head out. There we go. And yeah, bring Turg. We need someone lovable. And bring this, this guy too. He's wearing one of my hats. <laughs> it's like, hey, you're new here, I see. I'm I'm a nice man, and look, I, I can knit this. <laughs> and there's just some naked dude standing there in the hat. <laughs> oh, that's a handy couch. That would be good for the store. Can you swipe that for me, Jim, please? <sighs> oh, he didn't get away with it. He's like, oh, god damn it, it didn't fit in my pocket. And it was Turg that caught him, for feck's sake. All right, Jim, here's the plan. Ask her, does she want to work for free in your knitting basement? Seven a Mm-hmm. Well... That was the easiest kidnapping I've ever seen in my life. It's like she already had a pre-existing condition of Stockholm Syndrome or something. She liked her captor before she even met him. I feel neutral. All right, she's going to get knitting a rug. This is fantastic. We're going to have such a high output here. I'm going to stick up some more decor to spur them on. We got a little Jim Pickens poster here of him shooting a gun. It's like, this is who you're messing with if you try and come upstairs. Of course, you want to keep up with the days if you want to stay sane. So let's put a Jim Pickens calendar on the wall as well. A dear leader statue, which I think he got commissioned on the cheap. <laughs> it is fantastic. It's you got the little picture below. That is amazing. I think I'll put that out the door to spur them on when they try and look at freedom. Or maybe that's just a reminder. If you need me, I'll be upstairs because he's pointing to the ladder. Another pretty badass picture here. Jim Pickens, if you want that. We're going to have to figure out something because Jim can't keep managing this himself, especially if he really wants to talk to his friends that bad. And by friends, I mean the log. Well, this. <laughs> oh, and he didn't want the, the counter to feel lonely either. God, it must suck if you're down in the basement, an actual person, and the person upstairs would rather talk to a, a tree stump than you. This is good. You see, the thing about this shop is that they just seem to knit for fun. They love being prisoner basements as long as they can knit. The knitting stuff pack was an amazing addition. I think I'm the only person to have said that. All right, we're a pretty quirky business, so we're going to open this knitting shop a quarter to three in the morning. <laughs> open the store. Just ring the employee spontaneously. Come on, you got to get in here. We got a lot of drunk people who need a lot of woolen hats. Default finished the rug. Now we can get rid of this rug and replace it with this rug and actually sell it. God, that rug's going to get filthy. <laughs> It's right at the front door and it's pure white. It's almost Knit Woman's birthday. Oh yeah, I forgot I have triplets at home that I all name like Knit Boy, Knit Girl, and Knit Woman. Now if people ask me do I have kids, I can say no, but I have knits. We're not even convincing them to buy. These products sell themselves. Oh, God. Dude, look how sick you are. Why are you coming in to buy knitwear? He was trying them on and everything. Disgusting. Trying to get as much turnover as possible. I want another skill point in the business so that we can get another employee and then I don't have to do anything. <laughs> the ultimate goal goal in business. A oh, kid wants knitwear. God, you're lame. <laughs> Push her over, Jim. <laughs> Are you even doing anything? Like, my unpaid workers work away fine. My paid worker sits out here on the porch thinking about the good old days. I told him to restock items and there's loads to be restocked. He's not doing anything. Like, look at this. We're a knitting shop with no knitwear. People will think we're the laughing stock of the neighborhood. On the bright side, I have enough perk points now to hire an additional employee. What is he doing? <laughs> I thought he was pretending to ride a motorbike there or something. 
Okay, stop dancing around them and ring someone up, Jim, please. He's ringing them up, but he's still dancing. Oh, he's late for school. I think that kid might get taken away at some point because we're just not letting him out to school. All right, close up shop. And then when we open tomorrow, we're going to have another employee and we're going to mark up the sales 25%. Wait, why are you in here? Okay, I'll ring you up, last person. He's like, I know you're closed, buddy, but I really need this knitted poof. My legs, when I sit down, oh, they ache. He didn't even fucking buy it. What the hell? I had pity on you, sir. She had an awful holiday. She's hungry. But no matter what, it's always cancelled out by neutral. You have no strong feelings one way or another. No matter what happens, she's going to be fine. Oh, oh. Caught her finger? Fine. It's like half missing. Oh, Jim, good hunting. You found some food. Thank you, oh, food. Neep, neep. Wait, I froze her and she didn't drop the food. <laughs> All right, you'll just stay out here in the sun. You'll defrost eventually. My business is taking off, all thanks to you. Oh yeah, this is the person I gave the totally legal loan to. I wasn't expecting to see this money again. I got 25,000? Jesus Christ. I only put in a thousand. That is a good return. There we go. <laughs> if he's going to be restocking items in my store, he has to dress like that. Snursh wallabepso. He is fucking high on something. I don't know what it is. But he's constantly dancing with the mannequins and talking to this log. Got a tacky mailbox. Default knitted it. Oh, and even Turk stopped by to see how the business is doing. Needless to say, it is thriving. When you see three half-naked men in woolen hats, you know the business is doing good. Oh, and he's even going down to check on the prisoners. He's so nice. <laughs>
Jim's just like, so no difference then. <laughs> Romantic aura, there we go. You impressed with the place default? I, as impressed as you can be, I think. Why are we all sitting in a line of tables? <laughs> There's loads of tables in here and they're sitting us all out here next to each other? Oh wait, this was one of Jim's restaurants, so... <sighs> The only thing on the menu is water. Yeah, this Hawaiian island restaurant only serves water. <laughs> Free tap water. <laughs> he's drawing on his placemat. <laughs> That's adorable. <laughs> Look at that, he's almost staying inside the lines. Oh, thanks for bringing it out on a tray. Appreciate that. Thank you for the water. Please be careful of my drawing. Enjoy your water. <laughs> there we go, I ordered a blue confetti cake. You can only order cake when they don't have anything on the menu. <laughs> and birthday candles. He's tasting the frosting. He's a child. Look at that little placement that he's drawn. Wait, why are people celebrating? Wait, no, he's aging up. It's not even his birthday, is it? Oh, for feck's sake. He tasted the frosting and he just ages up automatically. Oh, would you look at that? He looks the exact same. Well, if it works that easily, you just say it's a birthday cake and it's your birthday. I had a wedding topper. Oh, wait, it's saying you must wait for the newlyweds to take a slice. Okay, just take that back off. He took a piece, but just stuffed it in his pocket. Have something. There we go. Eat up, eat up. Come on. Kate. Uh, excuse me? What? Who are you? Jim, we need you to add someone to the list. Conspiracy theorist Ellen Justice. She'll need to have her own conspiracy theory show. I've been Mrs. Justice, and you've been filled in on today's conspiracies. But what the hell? She just took cake like that. You can't just take someone's birthday cake from another table. Naturally, Turg is too polite to say anything, and default, well, she doesn't really care. Another person? Oh no, you're taking the dishes, you work here, that's alright. And you put them on the other person's table, alright, you're good in my book. And then this woman came and put them back! What? This restaurant is crappy. <laughs> That's it. I'm taking my cake and I'm taking my business elsewhere. Don't ask me where I put it. <laughs> yeah, you won't be seeing Turg, Turg around here ever again until Jim Pickens buys it again. The old management was so much better. That version never had a problem with overcrowding. <laughs> All right, let's see what's going on back here. Wait, you're still babies. I thought you were growing up. Oh, Turg will age them up. <laughs> it's not even his kid. He's just choosing to age up these people. There we go. There's one. Now let's age up the rest. Where are you? I can't remember. Oh, yeah, they're here. Imagine your first memory being that face. <laughs> How blessed would you be? <laughs> He's so dirty, though. <laughs> Why is he so dirty? He's just been at a restaurant. <laughs> it's the cake, isn't it? He smeared it all over himself. Turg teaches someone how to walk. He can hardly walk himself. It's the blind leading the blind here. Wait, what? He was aging up the last baby and it just disappeared. It's gone. What? Where's, where's the baby? All right, one's outside on the pavement. One's there. The other one is in the void or something. Like, I click here, click back. It's supposed to be here. What the? All right. <laughs> One of my children is invisible. Oh, another painting. That's nice. Uh, I mean, it's artsy and all. It's, it's not quite as uh, good as this one, merely for the subject of the art alone. They're worth so much money as well, but he's unwilling to sell. Jim's actually hanging out with some of his kids. You gotta give it to the Sims. The toddlers are adorable, even if most of them in my house don't make it to childhood. But I think we got a lot done here today. Default got added to the world. Turg is taking a liking. She is indifferent on both him and, well, everything else. <laughs> I have something one way or the other. The children aged up and the knitting business is going swimmingly. Well, Jim has reached level six of the parenting skill. <laughs> Only took him about 27 children, but he got there. But we're gonna leave it there. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, I post every single day. I also stream over on Twitch. The link for that is in the description. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Appreciate you watching, and I hope to see you next time. Bye for now.